So, um, today I want to uh, discuss uh, how exactly Selenium WebDriver works. Um, here I have created a small diagram. Uh, this diagram gives you some overview how exactly Selenium works. Uh, basically, when we go to the Selenium uh, HQ website, uh, there are two components uh, Selenium uh, uh, HQ giving to us. One is a standalone server, uh, uh, which is very important to, to run the client browsers. And uh, in order to run the browser, we need a test. So to, to create those tests, Selenium client libraries are available. So these libraries are available in popular languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, JavaScript. You can use any client library uh, that can send a, a HTTP request to Selenium server, where Selenium server can take those requests and run, run on real browser. So I have downloaded the Selenium standalone server jar already uh, into my local machine, and uh, I have uh, local client libraries as well. Uh, this video is all about uh, to show you how Selenium WebDriver works. So I am not using any program here. I am not uh, using this client libraries as well. Uh, here uh, you can presume that client libraries can send a request to the Selenium server. So from there onwards, I can show you how Selenium server will take that request and run it on real real browser. So most of the trainings, they will explain you uh, taking the client libraries and creating a web driver session and uh, execute commands. But uh, nobody uh, visually can show you that. Uh, maybe some people can show you, but uh, I have never seen uh, across uh, until uh, now. Uh, nobody showed me that. So I am trying to show you today how exactly that works. So in this diagram, if you see, Selenium server sits between client uh, library tests what we can what we write in uh, IDEs like IntelliJ uh, and any any ID what uh, your preferred uh, ID is and no need to use the IDEs you can write it on uh, notepad as well that's uh, your choice so we use the client libraries and we run we write our tests uh, we uh, run our test once we run our test uh, like uh, yeah, Maven when we are using Maven test that will run our test cases inside our test cases we create web driver, uh, new Firefox web driver, new IE driver uh, using client libraries. Once you create the uh, driver, uh, driver uh, you use the driver and you fire some commands. For example, you want to navigate to URL, you say driver.url. So you will give the URL name. So after that, what happens is, uh, the, uh, yeah, these client libraries, uh, they are in JavaScript or in Java, they will fire a HTTP request to the Selenium server. Uh, what they use uh, in the Selenium WebDriver language, uh, they call it will use a wire protocol, JSON wire protocol over a HTTP. So what literally it does is when we start a Selenium server, it will give the a RESTful API to interact with the Selenium server. So client libraries use that RESTful API and sends the request to the Selenium server. So when Selenium server takes that request, it will give it to the browser driver. Browser drivers are like uh, mini servers with, uh, where the every browser uh, manufactures they are creating nowadays. So they are giving those driver drivers to automate their browsers. So it's a, it's a very good functionality they are giving to the developers or the testing testers whoever they want to utilize their browsers uh, native uh, using their native functionalities uh, so it is like a small server it also listens that request from selenium server and it runs the real browser so that is theory so now we can see how exactly the selenium server listens this request from the client libraries and runs it on the real browser. So if you see here, I have my Selenium server standalone. I will run that server. So we have 
started selenium server so we have started this middle part so selenium server is up and running so we if we navigate to this url we can see that server hub yeah we can see that selenium server hub so selenium server is running we have a hub so using this hub we can manually create a session so I will show you that so I'm creating a session what uh, session I want I want a Chrome session so we can see the Chrome session here so I haven't done anything I just have manually created a session so it will open a browser session for me and it's stating that Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. I have not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I have not used any program to open this uh, uh, browser session. When we are running our test, when we start running, automatically behind the scenes, Selenium client libraries will do all this stuff for us. Here I'm doing everything manually. If you see here, we have our Selenium server and we have our browser session. If we go back to the, our diagram, we have Selenium server, we have a real browser session. Two, we have browser driver, you don't see because um, we need to download that browser driver for Chrome driver, Safari driver, IE driver. We need to put it in the uh, environment variables. So, if we if a system knows that path to that drivers when we start uh, running the selenium server it and when we try to create a chrome browser session it selenium server opens the chrome driver and talks to the chrome driver and it will open the browser session uh, if we if we see here selenium server when we ask to create a session it started the chrome driver as well i have not started chrome driver manually selenium server when we ask to create a session of pro, uh, chrome session it started chrome driver first then it started a browser session so because uh, i have given the chrome driver path in my environment variables so selenium server we have asked to create a session of chrome driver session so it started Chrome driver and created a real Chrome session. So these three parts it's done now. So the next part is we need to send request to Selenium server in the form of uh, JSON wire protocol over HTTP. For that one, uh, what I have created, uh, uh, sorry, I have downloaded a REST client into my system. It's an advanced REST client, so it is an add-on for Chrome. So I have downloaded it. So what we can do here, our server is listening, browser session is ready. I want to navigate to a BBC website. So for that one, what I have to do, I have to take this uh, session ID, which Selenium Selenium server is giving to me because Selenium server created a session so for this session every session has unique ID session ID so I have that unique session ID I'm taking this so I'm going back to the my rest client I'm utilizing this uh, oh sorry I forgot to show you an important is when we are uh, our automated tests what we when we are writing using our client libraries it will take a restful api uh, from the selenium server uh, which it provides and it will run the selenium commands how it will run it will send commands using a json wire protocol so that json wire protocol is nothing but a restful api structure and commands also uh, it will provide to us so we need to look for json wire protocol so 
it's a github page which uh, selenium uh, development team has created this so using this uh, json web protocol if we see this all implementations of a driver that communicates with the browser or remote web driver server shall use common web protocol this wire protocol defines a restful web services using json over http so if you see it clearly it is mentioning this wire, wire protocol defines a restful web services as you know that restful web services we will send uh, using a url uh, either get method or post method in the in, in the or if it is a post we send the parameters and commands in the body and uh, uh, some commands we need to run using get we will pass it in the url so it's think like it's a rest service we are using selenium server provides that rest service so for example i want to navigate to one website so let's go to navigate to your website so there is something called url so if you see here it's a get method and oh sorry it's a post method navigate to a new url what we need to do is uh, whatever the selenium server giving the restful api after we need to put a session session id and url so i will use my rest client so this is the web this is the hub and i'm specifying the so exactly what they have specified this is the address where the selenium uh, server is running up to hub and i'm telling session the session id which i have copied from here so it is a unique session id i am co copied from that uh, session id and slash url so this is the json world protocol is telling us in order to navigate we need to specify session session id url so if we go there it is saying in order to navigate to url we need to pass url parameter this one is session id id of the session to root the command to so which browser uh, the command needs to be run that session id and what parameters just some parameters we need to provide the url where uh, we need to navigate to so i will i have attached the session id i need to pass the url in a string format let's give the url as well in a, it's a post method so put it in a body oh i already used that url on pbc.co.uk if you see my browser session is not doing anything at the moment so once i fire this command it will my browser will navigate to uh, pbc website if here if you see this we are all doing everything manually we are not using any program i have started selenium server manually selenium server in internally called the chrome driver and open that chrome driver uh, browser session so <coughs> next uh, part we are using the restful api what selenium server is giving to us so we are firing commands so at the moment we are we have taken the restful api which selenium server given to us and we are navigating it to a url so here we don't have any client library tests we are manually sending commands using a restful client to selenium server so selenium server will take that uh, command and it will run on real browser let's see how it does now i'm sending request browser has navigated to bbc.co.uk and we will see it's done it's navigated without any issues 
our status is 200 total and session id is the same one what we have here in the below 327 so you can see here 327 and we navigated to the dtc website as well so we can go back to the server yeah we can uh, we have already navigated to a url so what we can do we can navigate back it's um, let's see back uh, navigate back is a it's a post command session id we don't need anything okay so post command body don't need anything send yeah it's gone back so we can use a forward as well Let's check we have forward. Yes, we have forward as well. It's also post command. So I can forward this. So it will again take us to the DDC website. Correct. So navigate back and forth. If you see, I'm just uh, using a RESTful API which Selenium server provides and running the browser here. So all the client libraries, client libraries which Selenium uh, website is providing to us in any language, they do same thing what we are doing using REST API. So these client libraries has that power to send a request to the Selenium server using that uh, JSON wire protocol uh, format because it's a RESTful API service. So we are sending get post request to the Selenium server. It takes that request, runs on the real browser. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, video might have helped you to understand how Selenium server exactly work. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, click the like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos from me, uh, please encourage me by either by subscribing or by po posting some comments. Uh, thank you.